Welcome back to another episode of Unusual Instruments. Today we're going to talk about my favorite weird instrument that I keep around here at the library, the Marxophone. The problem with the Marxophone that I have is that I want to put it on everything. So I have to do my best to not use it all the time. Um, the Marxophone was actually patented all the way back in 1912, first released in 1926. I'm not sure how old mine is. Um, we'll take a look at it right here. Look at that in all its glory. Beautiful Marxophone. First time that I heard the Marxophone was actually um, looking at the Currents website, and they had an in-studio with Bat for Lashes. They did the song Daniel, and um, they had some electronic elements, but they also had a pump organ with a Marxophone sitting on top. Well, here, take a look. Never be part. After watching that video, I just knew that I had to have a Marxophone for myself, but they are not easy to find. So my friend Joel Hansen had suggested that I do a Google search for Marxophone and Craigslist. And sure enough, one popped up in the high desert of Nevada and contacted the guy and asked if he'd be willing to ship it. And he said that he would. And so I got my Marxophone. Um, one of the more popular places folks will have heard the Marxophone would be on Portishead on their Dummy album, which was released in 1994, um, the song Sour Times. It happens right away at the beginning. I'll play it for you. There it is. Just hanging out on that key. It's so amazing. And then uh, one of my favorite Amy Mann records Lost in Space, which was released in 2002. Her song, The Moth, has a little feature. Answering this little thing right here. familiar with either of these records, Portishead, Amy Mann. I know that the Marxophone was used on a Doors record. I think Stone Temple Pilots might have used the Marxophone on something. Um, I would check out all of these records and for sure check out the Marxophone. The last thing that I'll leave you with is um, a recording that we did here at the library with John Mark Nelson for his Sings the Moon record. Check it out and I'll see you next time.